So we've had these motors on this thing for about a little under two weeks. Probably got about 50 batteries or so run through it. Um, I'd like to talk to you about what I found, what I felt, and what I liked, and what I didn't like about them. First of all, like I said, the cooling on these motors works phenomenally. Um, I really didn't think I was going to be able to put those quad blade props on there and have the motors stay as cool as they were um, and perform as good as I thought they would. Um, as you'll see in some of the other footage I have from flying from the DVR on this one because I was not planning on putting a GoPro on it. Um, this thing absolutely moves. So that's really the good parts about it. Like I said, they look good on the outside. They're good performing props. The only issue I have, and I'm not sure if it's because these are early production ones and they don't, I don't think they have the final bearings that they're supposed to have as it's supposed to have NSK Japanese bearings in them, which most other manufacturers use and I really haven't had too many problems with them. It runs the standard size magnet and shaft size for 22 size motors, which also again, usually I don't have any problems with. But the only thing I found on these ones is that the bearings have all started to make noise or three of these four have started to make noise pretty bad. I'm not sure if you're going to feel this in the film, but I'll get this one spinning. You probably. That's probably the best sounding one. And that one. Now the good news is that it still works and flies just fine. You can feel that bearing when you spin it in the frame, but it doesn't seem to translate to any problems while flying. Um, really didn't take too many crashes, um, at least minor ones. Now, I did hit a pole at a pretty good amount of speed and I have to say the motor fell held up really well considering it was a steel pole and it was probably about as fast as I can get it going on the inside of, of this building um, and it even hit so hard that as you can see here it managed to bend over some of the cooling fins but the motor still sounds good still works okay um, didn't bend the, the actual housing um, this motor also took a somewhat of a hit there too at the same time. Uh, as you see my camera took a ground of the hit and it hit around in this side and this area here. Um, did some damage to the VTX too. It was a, it was a pretty bad hit. Um, but like I said, no damage to the motors. Like I said, besides the bearings starting to make noise, which I think is because these are pre-production and not the final product yet, um, they absolutely perform great. I think they're a great product so far. Um, so hopefully we'll see something with the uh, um, bearings going on. Hopefully these won't be the final ones because if not, they're you know, the bearings while noisy, they they don't seem to be causing any problems with anything. Just so they do sound a little bit a little bit grindy. So thanks for watching.